Hello and welcome back to uh, these how to make videos which I hope will be of interest to teachers and teaching assistants in primary and middle schools. Um, in an earlier video in this series I showed how I've been using um, a computer drawing program called Corel Draw to um, design uh, templates, card templates, to uh, cut out and fold up dinosaurs. And I showed how I made the simpler versions, which I call spinefold dinosaurs, because it just has one fold line um, down its back here. Um, and I showed how to make this model of Spinosaurus. Well, as promised, I'm now going to show you how I make the slightly more complicated dinosaurs, uh, which I call V-fold dinosaurs. And uh, these have, as its name says, uh, a, a V-fold to make uh, a neck go up or down, or a head go up or down, and in this case also a tail. And uh, I'm going to show you how to make our old friend, if I can actually persuade him, here we are, uh, T-Rex. So um, this is the template that I've designed with Corel Draw. Uh, it's great having access to a colour photocopier. I've uh, copied it onto a uh, card. This is thin card, about 230 micron. You could, of course, uh, enlarge it to A3 to make an even more impressive model. Um, and if you follow the instructions, the first thing that you do is to cut off the base. I'm just going to cut it out roughly. And keep that safe for later on. The next thing we're going to do is to score the dotted lines. Now this is absolutely essential, it's almost impossible to fold this up without scoring the lines. Now it's important to get this um, centre line scored quite accurately because I'm hoping to be able to fold it and then cut it out both sides at the same time and unless the registration is spot on then when you cut it out there will be uh, white lines around the edge. Now we've also got the folds here for these um, feet, uh, what should we call them, feet bases. And there's another one there. I'm just using a small screwdriver here. I'm pressing quite hard. Probably once is enough, more than that, and you might cut through the card. And then we've got two V folds here. So we've got a line here, AA, and then two angled lines next to. AA. So with younger students I'd probably try and give them this template with the dotted lines already scored. And then that one there and the last one there. So that's all the dotted lines scored. We now fold the template in half along the spine. really fold it sharply. I'm not sure I quite got that uh, registration right but I can always trim it up later and then cut it out uh, both sides at the same time. So start off in the... don't worry I'm not gonna make you watch me cut the whole thing out. I'm just having a look at the... Reg oh that's not too bad. Cut round here uh, it's fairly straightforward to cut out. Um, the tricky bits are these uh, these f um, f uh, arms, which are really strange looking. Um, and then the other decision to make is uh, how you're going to cut out the mouth. Uh, obviously, your scissor school is going to have to be really good to cut around those teeth. What you could do is cut across the front there and then colour in the space black to make it look like uh, the teeth have been cut out. So as I said, I'm not going to make you watch me cut the rest of it out. Uh, here's one I made earlier, as they say in all the classic making videos. Um, 
I am going to have a go at cutting those teeth out, but I'm going to cut them out after I've glued the head together in a minute. But we're not going to do that yet. We're now going to work on the on the V folds. Now we want the neck to come up, so this line here, which uh, was AA, you valley fold. So we just pinch it because it's been scored. It folds really nicely. I hope you're getting that. And then these angled lines we have to mount in fold, and that's quite tricky to get in. You've got to sort of get in there and pinch it. And then the same on the other side. If you haven't done a V-fold before, it's quite tricky the first one, but once you've learnt it becomes quite easy. And then you push it, push it a bit more, and then it, it kind of pops up. Can you see that? And once you've got the knack, um, it's not difficult. Now, the head uh, is the opposite because we want the head to come down. So this time, uh, that line, which is BB, is a mountain fold. So again, I'm rubbing it with my fingers. And the angled lines, we want them to be a valley fold. So we can just push, push that over there. Are you getting this? And push that over there. And then we can just close the neck and close the head, pinch it really firmly, and we've now got the neck going up and the head coming down. Have you got that? Okay, we're now going to glue the, the two sides of the head together here and the two sides of the tail together, but we're not going to glue the legs together. Uh, you could use a glue gun, but I find stick glue works perfectly well for these uh, fold-up dinosaurs. But we'll just get in there and stick the sides of the head together. You do need to hold it for a few seconds to give the glue a chance to dry. I'm probably going to rush this and I'm going to do the tail. Try not to get too much glue on my cutting mat. There we are. That's not too bad. There we go. Now, um, when I was designing this, uh, I, to my surprise, T-Rex did actually stand up. Uh, but I decided to add a base. So I've put these um, feet bases on, which you fold over like that to make it even more stable. And then, um, do you remember the base that we cut out earlier? Well, here's one I've made that I've cut out completely. And we stick the those rectangles onto the marks as indicated there. So again, we're getting with a stick glue. And we'll stick on the base like that. There we go. Now as I said, cutting those teeth out you're going to need uh, a lot of patience, quite a lot of skill and um, a decent pair of scissors. Uh, here's one I made earlier. It's not perfect but you can see I've cut the teeth out there. And um, here's an A3 version it's a bit easier to cut the teeth out obviously because it's it's larger. Um, other, other dinosaurs that I've designed which use V-fold is uh, Brachiosaurus here and that's got three, one there, one there and one there. Must remember to put the top on the stick glue. So that's Brachiosaurus. Again that's a very large dinosaur so if you have got access to an enlarging copier, enlarge it to A3 for a more impressive model. Um, others that use the V-fold is uh, Velociraptor here. And the template for Velociraptor uh, includes two, um, a large, a large uh, an adult and a, a smaller individual. And there's the two um, Velociraptor models. 
Um, while I'm here, I'll just show you the, the other spinefold dinosaurs. Um, Spinosaurus you've seen before. And then we have um, Stegosaurus. A lot of um, cutting out to do there. Uh, a Hadrosaur. And Triceratops. Um, the template for uh, T-Rex is available free on my website. It's a .pdf file. If you want all the other templates, please email me um, and I'll tell you how to order them. My email address can be found on my website at www.slstc.southwarkelia.org.uk So, thanks very much for watching. See you soon.